It is May 24th, 2019. We're here at 4212 Bayard Street in San Diego, California, 92109. We're here on the rooftop of the house. <coughs> We're over here at the bathroom that is in the hall bath that's looking towards the solar that's above the garage. So as we pan over here, we have a single vent pipe right here. This is for the lavatory sink. We put our small camera down through there and the line is so clogged up we won't be able to get through. The shower stall and toilet are essentially right here where we're actually kind of showing the camera and there's no vent. The only other vent as we pan over is this small inch and a half vent, same as the lavatory, but this is for the bathtub. So there is no vent pipe right here for the shower stall and toilet. So we can't access the main sewer line uh, from the vent. The toilet is actually clogged inside the unit and the shower stall is draining. So we don't think it's a main stoppage, uh, but there's no vent. So that's all out of code. So either when the roof was redone or when some remodeling uh, was done for some reason they abandoned it uh, obviously I'm assuming it's possibly hopefully least in the attic way uh, but of course it has to be above the the, the roof line here so we're gonna attempt with a small camera to go down through this tub drain for this hall bath because it looks like from here the, the lines in the crawl space head towards the alleyway so this hall bathroom is going to head towards the master bath, laundry, and then kitchen, and then head out to the alleyway. Here we have our T-junction that should be picking up the tub drain. And then here it's dropping into and going to make the horizontal run into the main sewer here. So we're going to see if we can get our connect camera to go the right direction. There we go. So we're in original metal pipe right here so the tub that was put in obviously had some plastic pipes put in and then it's transitioning back to the old pipe okay so we have an entire hole in the bottom of the pipe there so again this is a very small camera so uh, it's not self leveling so the top of the screen you're looking at is actually the bottom of the pipe as we back up here you can see the water on the bottom of the left side of the screen so the bottom of the pipe is actually gone. It's actually, if you run this tub, it's going to leak into the crawl space. You can see a bunch of hair that's jammed up right there um, on the um, piece that's rotted out. So this whole piping has to be replaced here. Looks like here's, this is transitioning. This should be the main the T-junction where it's going to be turning to head into the main sewer. Okay, and there's the main sewer. So you can see we're in the small pipe still right here. A little bit of hair and debris built up from the tub. And now we're dropping into the main cast iron pipe uh, for the whole sewer system. Okay, so we're in the main sewer line right now. Looks like there's a 45 degree turn right here or a 16th bend. Headed down this line. A little bit of standing water here. Um, could be that there's some buildup in the pipe right here at a T junction or a hub fitting, possibly, causing this water to not drain out. So you can see we're jumping over some debris right there in the line. So that water is kind of draining out that we just forced through. Now the line is transitioning into plastic. So you can see there's a rubber boot actually right there that's kind of curled up in a couple small spots. And now we're in new plastic um, piping. So we can see that all the roof vents for the laundry and the other bathroom um, on this end, other end of the house are all plastic ABS. So that was all remodeled and redone and brought up just above the roof the right way. But again, the bathroom that we're in right now, the front of the house, does not have a vent for the toilet and shower stall. Okay, so the plastic pipe right here is holding water. So this um, is an issue if it's not just due to some buildup or a stoppage because the pipe is required, of course, to have downhill slope of a minimum of a quarter inch of fall for every foot it travels. 
otherwise you will get a sag or a belly to the line like this which is then holding water uh, which will then lead to stoppages or build up or even possibly odors coming back up and out of drains when they get used even though most of the odors will come up out of the vents um, when you've got all this bad standing water it can also come back up through the trapway and out of the drain opening when it's real heavy build up like this okay so here we're transitioning right back to cast iron so they just did the bare minimum is what it appears to be um, we're at about 37 feet out or less than that about 30 three feet out um, so minus the vent pipe uh, about 15 feet down we're only about um, less than 20 feet across which would put us right up to the um, end of that bathroom it does appear so it looks like they just did the bare minimum and we've got a bad alignment so you can see we're immediately completely underwater and all the debris floating around so they have a bad alignment where the plastic goes back to cast iron and additionally, uh, it could just also be that the cast iron has some heavy scale and deposit built up on the bottom. And even if it's, if it's slightly misaligned, if you don't clean the inside of the pipe, actually, you won't get a clean transfer from one pipe to the next. So again, we now kind of jump through there, and we're now in this cast iron. So what we're going to go ahead and do is now pause the video and we're going to move a better uh, stronger camera over to uh, the other toilet vent for the other bathroom to ensure that we get to this point and then we can should be able to push it out to the rest of the way there also is a three inch clean out um, that was put in at ground level on the side of the house from that bathroom that was remodeled here the master bathroom so we're going to actually try to go through there so we're going to leave this camera in the line push it as far forward as we can go it actually is getting difficult to push forward um, so we'll leave it right there we're not going to try to force it and we're going to pause and move down to another uh, location to put a second camera in okay so we move to the side of the house that's looking towards the street you can see here they have a whole house water filter system here um, that's leading to the fence of the backyard and right here they have a new three inch ABS plastic clean out that they put in um, probably again when they remodeled that bathroom and put in all plastic so this should lead into where our camera that we just went from the rooftop is already in so here it's transitioning back into the cast iron here's where it's jumping into the main here okay so wherever this just entered into for this clean out they put in it's still um, after the other uh, part of the line that our other camera is in. So it must be just a few feet away. So uh, we will go ahead and, and try to run water in the other bathroom to help push that camera a little bit further to try to get it to intersect with this one. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and push forward here on this cast iron to try to look at the rest of this condition of this system here. few turns here on the system and the spring and the push rod are kind of hanging up right here at this transition turn so we may have to change out our camera head or guide we have on there to be able to maneuver this turn or get some water running so we're gonna pause the video for a second while we try to maneuver through this junction okay so we moved up to the rooftop because we tried a couple different cameras and we we're unable to make that turn which is a hard 90 after the other multiple turns into the cast iron and get pushed out so again farther down there you can see our little camera on the vent far away that's again the bathtub of the hall bath and then you can see all these other vents right here this is the other bathroom up across there that's the laundry and so right here we have our two inch vent. So this should be what's leading into the toilet. So hopefully this is a straight drop without any turns on it. And then we should be able to get our camera out across the main of the cast iron. Got a bunch of cobwebs on the line, so we're gonna pause for one second to clean that off. Okay, so we've cleaned off our lens. Here we've got our transition. We're in a horizontal line. Dumping down and across. So definitely a lot of turns in the way they did this, this system here. Okay, so here's our transition into the cast iron. 
and right there that should be our T junction as you can see in the top right of the screen where that other clean out access we were trying to get in from so now pushing down this cast iron okay we're back into ABS again so it looks like we have a clean out right there that's what was installed so there must be a clean out um, possibly right at the edge of the house there I will have to go down and check at the ground level if not we'll locate it so you can see that that's sweeping back into the house um, it's possible right above us through this turn we can't see there's another one that's headed out let me go right back into the cast iron again and now we're in four inch clay pipe so they left a little piece of cast and then goes right into the clay so this four inch clay is headed out now we've got more clean outs that were installed so we've got another little drop down into ABS plastic again a slight misalignment you can see the wall thickness of the next section of pipe um, and that's what's causing a little damning effect um, with this ABS that was put in so they didn't align the pipe properly or put a solid base underneath it or when they backfilled and tampered it they pushed the pipe down um, the rubber boot that was connecting so a little off here um, not a huge one, but you can see we really have to force our camera here. We kind of hit the edge to try to jump over that. There we go. So it does need to be cleaned up. I'm running through this clay. Not finding any issues in the clay. Oh, this, this could be cast iron still actually that's in really good shape it's hard to tell there with our colorization here a little bit of cobwebs there and we're dumping into the main part of the system right here so this is the end of the line right here and the alleyway and everything is good there so don't have any issues with this pipe here now there's clay. There's our four foot hub right there we didn't see previously. So clay comes in very short lengths. Um, there's another hub right there. So this clay pipe is fine. We're going to pull back and go ahead and look into the backyard again, which we didn't notice. I don't know if it's under the decking, the steps, or some other landscaping. So we do have some other clean outs at the ground level. Here's the clean outs right here with the little offset transition that needs to be slightly cleaned up possibly. And then we've got clay pipe there. And here's our little bit of cast iron that they left for some reason just a couple feet long and then it goes into plastic ABS. So the cast is fine, it's just odd that they left a foot or so off of that. We're just going to push forward again really quick here in case we need to locate. So here's that other clean out. So we'll see if this is the property line clean out um, or if this is in the backyard or closer to the alley side. So we're going to pause the video. Okay, so we've gone ahead and located this clean out on uh, transition pipe. This is in the backyard. It's actually just past the back of the house. So when you leave the back doors off the dining room or that bedroom and go into the deck on the backyard, uh, this is about two feet after uh, the, uh, the edge of the house actually headed uh, across the backyard to the left of the jacuzzis or facing the backyard at that angle. So as we back up here, and see this cast iron this cast iron is essentially directly either embedded in or directly under the foundation wall of the house and that's why they left that little section of the um, cast iron um, because it's just not accessible basically um, with how the the piping um, uh, is at so as we back up here we're now into the full cast iron um, again, this will be in the crawl space of the house and I'm going to go ahead and push forward one more time here. Now we are standing on the deck which is raised up. 
but the uh, drain pipe the bottom right here uh, we are at that's approximately about three feet eight inches deep um, so that's where those clean outs are um, and that's actually clay there so I'm gonna go forward one more time really quick here and just show this clean out here so we jump over that piece this is all clay back up here just to make sure one more time so it actually is all clay pipe from what we can see actually um, doesn't appear actually that any of that is old cast we apologize so a little bit of debris in our lens here so we're going to back up into the system so this is the original cast under the house still we're going to go ahead and now we're back into ABS to wipe our lens off there and get that off so we're going to go ahead and try to push the other camera that's on the rooftop here out to where this camera is in the line. Okay, so we have the shower stall running and the lavatory sink in this bathroom um, where we're in through the tub. We can't run the tub because it'll flood into the crawl space and the toilet is clogged. So it took a while. Water finally got here. So we're going to see if this little bit of water helps get, oops, get our, it's our camera out a little bit further. Um, Doesn't look like it's going to work much. No, we're, we're, we're out really far length with this style camera um, pushability. So um, it doesn't look like it's going to be able to travel to where we want to go. But let's just see if it can get a little bit further into where the transitions back into the plastic for the other bathroom, if at all possible. Okay, there we go. So we're into the plastic right there. So it is a, a clean transition, uh, but obviously uh, with the age of the home, it would probably all be changed out. Um, with the, at least the two inch line needs to be changed out. Um, this here is the new plastic and there you go. There is the other camera and the push rod from our other one that's there. So as we back up above the water, you can see the push rod there coming down from the vent to the other toilet. So we're able to reach the other part of the main from here. So the line is intact, it's functional, um, just real old cast iron. Uh, the two inch tub line is shot on the crawl space and all has to be changed out. Um, and a small misalignment in the backyard. Um, we did mark the main under uh, above that deck with some chalk. Um, and noted where that clean out's at. So that slight misalignment could get redone um, if the whole main was replaced um, up to that point. Does not need to be replaced after that clean out. It's all in good, perfect working condition. So that concludes this recording. Okay, so we actually didn't stop the video. Uh, we actually paused it. We are gonna do the kitchen really quick, but we just wanna show this really fast. Um, this line from the lab actually ties into here across from the tub. So all that water that's running is actually leaking out um, into uh, the crawl space. So we're gonna run down and shut the water off, but that's why it took a while for the water to get to us um, because it's partially leaving through this crack in the pipe. So the lavatory sink, um, maybe even the shower stall, um, um, are all tied into this part of the tub drain that we en entered from from the roof and so uh, they're all going into that broken piece of pipe so we're going to pause the video move to the kitchen okay so we moved over to the side of the house uh, where the kitchen is they did replace this with ABS plastic here we have a clean out we're just going to verify if this stays plastic the whole way if it transitions to cast iron under the house at some point all plastic all cobwebs in there has been used in a little bit maybe looks like it's still all plastic so it looks like this must have been remodeled um, the whole line when they remodeled the kitchen in that master bath so it looks like this is going to definitely and here's our transition to the main so 
We're now into the main pipe right there. We lost kind of our view right there, a bunch of cobwebs and other debris. So the kitchen line has all been replaced. There's the drop in right there, pulled back out real quick. So we lost our view again, that debris on the lens. So kind of see that little, there we go. So that's the transition into the main. So the whole kitchen line has been replaced and um, if it's going to be in the same position can be utilized without being replaced at this point. So that concludes this recording.